And we all know how dog people love their pets. So recently, journalist Josh Dean is his name, spent a year following one real life champion dog. His new book is called Show Dog, The Charm Life and Trying Times of a Near Perfect Purebred. It comes just in time for the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show that begins on Monday here in New York. Josh, welcome. Thanks for having me. Tell me about Jack. Jack is a now four-year-old, almost four-year-old Australian Shepherd from the Philadelphia suburbs, and he, uh, he's bursting with personality. He's not necessarily a dog that wins best in shows at dog shows, but he's, he's representative of, I think, of like the everyman dog. He, he wins a lot of shows, and he's a beautiful dog. But I had an Aussie once, and they're great because they're herding dogs. They are. You know? And you cut the tails off at the beginning of their life. Yeah, some ranchers actually use them to babysit their kids. They're, they're, such, they're so good at herding that they yeah. will actually take care of your children. Yeah. You know what I thought was so neat about your book, Show Dogs? That at one point you said, show dogs are just pets that get to go to the dog show. Mm -hmm. Because I think most people think that show dogs, Josh, are a little snooty booty. I think that's the general perception, probably. And they are pampered, surely. Like, I mean, what other, how many of us get blow dried and, and made up? Well, if you host a morning show, maybe, but... Char <laughs> I was going to say, would you like to answer that, Mr. Rose? How many of us get blown dry and pampered? So, I'll let you go first, Charles. Uh, I, I love the pampered part. <laughs> but it is true. They, they have owners who love them, and they go home and sleep yeah. on couches, and they jump up on tables, and yeah. they occasionally poop in the ring. Yeah. See, this is what I didn't know, Charlie. Did you know that what goes into a show dog, you have to have good teeth and good testicles? No, I did not know See? that. Yeah, you need to be Why the latter? <laughs> they call it intact. So that no, you, you can, bre so that you can breed. Yeah. And if you're, if you're missing a testicle, then you're not probably great breeding stuff. Now, here's what's interesting. This is the cover of Time Magazine. It shows you how popular stories about dogs yeah. are. This is called The Surprising Science of Animal Friendships. Um, what is it about, you think, this sort of our love for animals, especially dogs? I think it goes back, I read a quote, someone said that dogs are our greatest invention, and I think it goes back to the fact that humans created dogs. I mean, they were wolves that were artificially selected by people to become companions, and they did yeah. jobs for us, and we've been working with them now for tens of thousands of years, and basically every breed that's out there was created to do a specific thing, and we just kind of bonded with them from the very first day. You know what's surprising about you? That you don't even have a dog. I don't. I just assume this has got to be written by a guy who's nuts about yeah. dogs, has a dog, but you don't even have a dog, Josh Dean. I call myself a dog person without a dog. I know, I love them so much, but I live in Brooklyn and, and I have an no apartment. That's no excuse. It, <laughs> it right. is, you're right. But you know, I, I just bought a house in the country and I have a, b a little boy who loves dogs and I think it's probably inevitable. Uh, it's and, coming. And, and so how will you get the dog? Will you go to a shelter or what will you do? Well, I'm, I hope now I'll get one of Jack's puppies. He's, oh, yeah. He's now, um, he's out there breeding, and he's produced some beautiful puppies. And uh, they, they, Australian Shepherds have so much personality. I'll take one, too. So when, All right. when he comes. I'll sign you <laughs> up. Yeah, and you really bond I can put in a good word for you. Oh, great. Please, you'll recommend me? <laughs> I yeah, will. You know people, but you also said there's a lot of cheating that goes on in dog shows. Yeah, yeah I mean. Like what? How do they cheat in dog shows? <laughs> you know, the cheating, it, it's, a, it's a gray area because you're not supposed to alter the dogs according to the AKC rules. And that would include things like chalk. When you see a beautiful white dog in the ring, it's probably not quite that white because white hair tends mm -hmm. to turn yellow. Um, so people will put shock in, and that's okay, that's acceptable. Judges usually won't dismiss. But some people will like use prosthetics in the ears if the ears aren't set mm. quite right. You'll see muscles clipped in the tail occasionally if it doesn't sit quite the right way. Uh, in, in England, there's been a problem with uh, dying dogs because black poodles will get gray as they get older. So they actually test the hair at Crufts, the, which Could is we? England's Westminster. What is the most important thing you learned about training a dog? I've become a pretty firm believer in positive reinforcement, which yeah. is kind of the counter to what the, some of the, the prevailing wisdom out there about authority, correcting dogs with authority. Yeah, I think if dogs really want to make you happy, and if you tell them that they're doing a good job and give them a treat, you'll be amazed what they'll do. <laughs> dogs I mean, are like people, aren't yeah, they? Look, yeah, look. <laughs> that works for me too. Yeah. Look at a dog. Give me show. a treat. I'm good. I'm good. Charlie, you mentioned getting another dog. Would Barkley approve? Charlie think, has well, a dog. Uh, Barkley is a, is a wonderful uh, black lab, and you know, I spend a lot of time in the park with. He's always looking for somebody to run with him, and I think he needs another dog there. Uh, because Shepherd. the most important thing he wants to do is either to chase or be chased. Well, you know, if you can get an Australian Shepherd who will chase him and then herd him back to you. When <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, I had a combination of both a, a, a Border Collie and an Australian 
you know, and the two of them were constantly in competition. Yeah, Border Collies are like an Australian Shepherd, just with a little bit of the intensity turned <laughs> Yes, <up>. a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. I like uh, English Mastiffs. You didn't write about them. I love big dogs. I yeah, love that's, those. Yeah, they're beautiful dogs. I mean, uh, I've come to love uh, them all. We'll, we'll, yes, me too. We'll leave a St. Bernard at her door. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at you. I all wouldn't right. be mad. Thank you, Josh. With a treat. Thank you.